Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, select this layer M, go to Window, open Animation Composite 3 Anchor Point Mover, and I will use this plugin for move the anchor point down. Also, we can do this with manual. Let's click this pen behind icon and we can move the anchor point down like this but I will use anchor point and if you have not animation comes as 3 I will add the link on the description below so let's click this icon for move the anchor point down and select other text layers also click this icon for move the anchor points down okay so in this time select this layer M and go to solo Let's click this icon for black background and press S, open scale, click this icon and change scale 0. Let's create new scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframe, change scale 120 and change this scale 80. Let's see. Okay, go to 10 keyframes again. For shortcut, you can press hold shift, press page down in keyboard and change this 110 and 90 let's see okay go to 10 keyframes again change this 95 and this 105 again go to 10 keyframes change scales 100 so there are five keyframes for create bouncing animation select keyframes and make it easy let's see okay very nice i like it so select scale two frames let's copy and select other text layers go to solo and go to first second and control v for paste two frames let's see okay very good and select this layer a let's move to right and r move to right and next text layers move to right okay Let's preview animation. Okay, very smooth animation. I like it. And let's unsolo these text layers, select all of them layers and move to right for now. So, in this time, select this icon 1 and press P. Let's move to down and create new passing keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes and move to up. Again, go 10 keyframes and select first keyframe, copy pass. And select last two frame let's move it up a little bit and select two frames make it easy let's see okay so for creating natural failing object select this icon one select two frames go to graph editor and let's zoom in here select first select middle two frame move to left and move to right let's see okay this is more natural back to two frames Go to first second, hold shape, press R, create new rotation keyframe, chain rotation 20 or 25, and go to here, change minus 10. Again, go to next keyframe, change 5, and last keyframe, change 0. Say keyframes again, make it easy. Let's see. Nice. And go to first second, hold shape, press S, open scale. And let's click this icon and create new scale keyframe. Chain scales 0. And go to here. In this time, chain scale a little bit like this. Okay, let's see. And go to middle, change 100. And this 100. Okay, go to here, next keyframe. Change again scale value like this. Okay, select two frames, make it easy. Select less scale two frame, move to right. Let's see. Nice. So select these all position scale and rotation two frames. Let's copy. Go to first second and select icon two. Let's control V for paste and press P. Let's see. So select all position two frames. Let's move to right. Let's see. Okay, and let's move right a little bit. 
and select icon 3, go to first second, control V for paste two frames, let's press P and go to here, last second, select position two frames and move to right. Also select icon 3, move to right for step by step icon animations. Nice, and icon 4, go to first second, control V, press P, select position two frames, go to last position and move to right. Again, icon and move to right this, select icon 5, go to first second, control V, press P, select position, go to last position two frame and move to right here and also move to right this layer. Select icon 5, go to first second, control V, press P, select position two frames, go to last position and, and move to right here and also move to right, let's see. Okay, and icon 7, go to first second, control V, press P, select position two frames, go to last position and move to here, select icon 7, move to right and icon 8 and 9. Let's control V for buff layers and select icon 7, move to here and icon 9, move to here. And select icon 7, let's press P, select position two frames, go to here and move to right. And icon 9, press P, select position 2 frames and move to like this. Let's see. Okay, very good. So select these icon layers and close scales. And select these text layers. And let's see timing. I want to create perfect timing for these layers. Okay, let's move to left. Okay, so in this time, select this icon one. Let's go to here and select icons. Let's press P and go to last position two frame and edit split layer or control shift D, delete. Select icon two, go to last position two frame, edit, split, delete. Icon three, go to last position two frame, edit, split, delete. Let's see. Nice. And I can fall, go to last position two frame, split layer, delete. And I can five, go to last position two frame, edit, split, delete. And also I can six, again split layer and delete. And I can seven. And I can eight. And finally, icon 9. Let's go to last position two frame. Go to edit and split delete. So select this icon 9. Let's go to middle, select position two frames and let's move to right a little bit. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Nice, very good. And select all of them layers and close two frame settings and let's see nice very good and let's enable motion blur for all these layers so in this time let's go to window open animation comes as three and starter precoms shape elements let's click for see all previews and i want to use particular fireworks Select and click add. Let's close window. Let's see. Okay, move to here. And we can use these particles for more dynamic animations. And let's go to FS Presses, search effect fill. Select fill, use for compensation particle. And use color white. Okay, and select compensation, Ctrl D, move to right for duplicates. Let's move to here. Again, Ctrl D, move to right and move to here. Again, Ctrl D. Let's see. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.